Hi guys, today I wanted to do um, a little video about uh, supporting your Mini and, and especially about softwares to uh, place support on your Mini and especially uh, Prusa Slicer and sheet to box um, You can see outside uh, on YouTube or on uh, website or, or forums or Facebook groups a lot of people explaining how to place uh, manually uh, your support on the model, how to select the support, how to place everything manually and it works perfectly, of course. But it takes time uh, and um, all the software out there have already um, an auto support functionality. So the aim uh, uh, here is to see if auto supporting is really useful or not. Many people are saying that auto support sucks and it's really bad but I think it's strongly dependent on what you would like to print. Uh, actually, I print um, miniatures, uh, I print objects for my dioramas, all these kind of things, and I don't think auto support sucks, but I would like to validate that. So the aim is to print uh, the same miniatures using uh, auto support from Prusa Slicer and auto support from uh, Cheetobox, and to print all in the same build plate and see if it works or if it's not. So here is then the miniature that I will use. So this is the zombie model that I have selected for the test. So as you can see, it's not so easy model with a lot of thin parts like the sword or like the fingers. So this model will serve for comparison now. So in order to compare uh, the various uh, style of supporting and basically the auto support, um, I have made on the same build plate um, one uh, zombie uh, orientated on the back, uh, supported with uh, Prusa Slicer. This is the one you can see selected now. Um, so auto support for Prusa Slicer. So same orientation, but now auto support from Shetubox. So this is the one selected here. And then orientated totally vertically uh, with uh, Prusa Slicer auto support and exact same orientation, but auto support from Shitu Box also vertically then. So you can see there is weird stuff with also a Shitu Box uh, on this orientation. So now I printed uh, this um, bit plate uh, with the four different um, solutions, I would say, uh, either Precisor or Cheetobox, and uh, the results are a bit disappointing. Um, for Precisor, it works pretty well, um, kind of um, marks of support when you remove the support and the, the bottom layer was really hard to remove from the build plate compared to the bottom layers with Cheetobox. Uh, but we should box all of the miniatures uh, with auto support by default uh, fails. So either it breaks uh, or the uh, support was uh, even fused with the model, like, like you can see in these pictures. So uh, I would say one can say Prusa Slicer could work uh, eventually with auto support, even if the quality is not the best. Uh, but we should box, it's not working. So I wanted to go further and try to see if we can modify a bit the parameters in Sheetobox uh, to make it work, because obviously it could work. So I made some change and the major change was to uh, modify the top diameter and the depth of the supports uh, and I use medium support again. Uh, and uh, I also reduce the density of the support. I realized that uh, with a 100% density, sheet to box is placing way too much support and it finally ends up with sometimes a fused big bar of supports and it's not working well. So um, I made a change. So here's a change and you can see just uh, during I talk uh, the, the, the few uh, parameters that I change uh, with uh, sheet to box.
So, in terms of uh, modification, this is what I did in Shitterbox. Um, so, I have mainly modified the contact diameter to uh, going down to um, uh, 0.4 uh, and uh, contact depth uh, really down to 0.15, um, which will result in support that entering less into the miniature and with more thin top of the support. So I didn't change um, other settings, uh, than the middle and bottom and the raft. So the most important was the top uh, contact with the miniature. And the other settings that I will uh, move a bit uh, and I will play a bit with that is the density of auto support. So I will uh, move from uh, the 100% that I've been tested initially because this is a default parameter. And then I will go down to 90, 80 and 70 percent so here is a new test uh, the one from precise slicer that works before uh, another one with a new medium support and a 90 percent uh, density uh, the same one but with lower density to 80 percent and finally uh, the last zombie uh, on the plate will be same support settings but 70 percent density so therefore i have the uh, four combination the one uh, which works with uh, process slicer and the three new one with shit box so I print this second uh, build plate uh, with the, the precise slicer orientation that works with the support and uh, also the new uh, modified uh, cheetah box uh, settings uh, with different density. This time all of the three miniatures printed uh, uh, and supported with cheetah box works uh, beautifully, uh, almost no marks for support. And I should say that reducing the density is nice because you get less support and so less risk of mark. So overall, I don't see a huge difference between process slicer and sheet box if you modify sheet box settings. Uh, so it looks like process slicer by default is a little bit more tuned uh, and optimized than uh, sheet box. But it kind of works with sheet box and I feel I have found more advanced options uh, to, to tune and to modify the, the parameters in sheet box than in Prusa Slicer. So I prefer sheet box but uh, you really need to modify the support uh, and the parameters. So for a very easy miniature, uh, not so complex, not so big, not so multi parts so or these kind of things, you can use auto support uh, using the medium auto support and eventually if you really realize uh, when placing the support that it missed something you can add a few light support this is what i do exactly uh, right now uh, so it could work uh, but of course manually uh, supporting everything is also very nice uh, but it takes longer time uh, and you need to gain experience before doing that uh, so I still feel that having uh, um, a base using auto support functionality is a good point, uh, mainly for beginners, but even for more experienced printers uh, that you save time. And finally, you don't need to manually support everything. Uh, probably in some cases better, but globally it could work with auto support. So I hope it helps, uh, probably next time I will try with another miniature, the same kind of experiment and I would really recommend you guys um, that you can of course listen all of the um, uh, supporting uh, videos and um, all of the uh, support uh, teachers and everything, but experiment by yourself, take a miniature, put different parameters, print them on the same build plate and you will see the result is there and it's really the most reliable way to uh, get to conclusion. So enjoy printing and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.